Just a while ago, uh, someone was uh, live and uh, was praying and uh, wishing that mommy will come around to be a blessing to these wonderful people. And uh, eventually, ladies and gentlemen, viewers all over the world, mommy eventually arrives. Mommy Rose, Prophetess Rose, the voice of solution, an astonishing personality, is here live and direct to do goodwill and uh, to bring benevolence to the people, to the people of God. Wow. This is amazing. This is amazing. Wow. For some days now, I've not seen mommy's face on the camera. Mommy has been on prayers, Mommy has been on the mountain, Mommy has been seeking God's face. And eventually Mommy steps out today and uh, I'm sure this wonderful woman will not expecting her, but eventually uh, she decides to come around. And here is Mommy, this boss's solution to the ones who are so expectant, who are so, 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 so uh, on the waiting expecting God to move and eventually mommy arrives. Ladies and gentlemen all over the world, share this video. This is happening live and direct at the Unveiling the Veil City of Testimonies. Here in the city of Abuja, uh, on Fonadi Podia Expressway, uh, B12 Cadastro Zone uh, in Duboi, Gudu District. This live video is coming to your courtesy. Uh, Ogula Media Crew uh, from Ogula TV Network. And the one you're seeing on the camera right now is the voice of solution, Prophetess Rose Kelvin. Wow. It's been quite a while. Mommy has been on the waiting for close to 10 days right now. Uh, seeking the face of God. She arrives and she's going to be doing kind of to this one. I, I just like to do a cursory plan of the people who are so expectant, this woman who are trusting God. I have this one. These are those for which, these are those for whom mommy's ministry is uh, so active. Uh, mommy wouldn't have peace, mommy wouldn't rest until these women are fed, until she brings benevolence to them, until she wipes their tears, until she brings help their way, until she turns the situations around them. Uh, today is Friday, most of them would have simply gone uh, into their houses without food to eat. Most of them would have simply, you know, retired back home without anything in their hands. But here are they, and here is mommy also reaching out to them, making sure that they don't go home hungry. Well, most of them were not in service. Some of them just uh, strolled into this place, knowing fully well that uh, definitely mommy may just come around to ensure that those ones with which her heart beats or those ones for which her heart beats, you know, may definitely be around and then she will touch their life. And someone will just ask, how did she manufacture the money? Yes, money don't stay in mommy's hand. The moment this money is coming to her hand, she remembers the poor. Mm. 
the moment money enters from his hand, he's looking for the poor. The moment mommy is reached out to, she does everything possible to make sure that these ones are met, that these ones, you know, see the real essence of serving God. And this is the reason. This is, I, I think, I think uh, without missing words, this is the exact reason. Uh, God is uh, blessing mommy and, and, and make, making sure that money comes her hand, or money comes into her hand to ensure that the poor are met. As long as Mommy Rose is concerned, money is useless. If it can change the life of somebody, if it cannot affect someone's life, if it can wipe the tears of someone who is in need, someone who is uh, they desperately need, if money cannot touch it to the hands, if money cannot correct the errors of uh, uh, hunger and uh, militating poverty in their life, then as long as mommy is concerned, mo that money is useless. Money is only useful when it can enter the hands of others, when it can change the life of people, when it can be used to solve the problems of people and this is the value of money in the hands of mommy. When it can propagate the gospel, when money can touch life. Speaks, the stars will be so, when we begin first to reach out to nursing mothers and ensure that they don't go home empty handed with their children. Some of the women you are seeing, like these ones, are definitely never going to be in service, but they know that if they come around, they may just bump into mommy discussing solutions to people, to the needy, and those that really require help. <laughs> if you look at that woman, she was expecting to stretch for her hands to carry what the entire thing mommy has in her hand. <laughs> That's a wonderful sight to behold. You see, in the kingdom you see everyone. In the kingdom you see all kind of people. In the kingdom you witness all kind of, you know, personalities. How this little baby is also expectant. How this little baby is expectant. Yes. They are expectant knowing that as soon as something enters into their mother's hand through the hand of mommy, that they're going to be well tonight. They're going to be fine this weekend. They're going to be good uh, in, in the next 48 hours and the days ahead. So. Like I said before, money makes no sense to mommy, except it is used to solve the problems of people, to solve the problems of the needy, 
to support the less privileged, to support the have-nots, and uh, to establish those who desperately need any form of support to stand on their own. This is the only sense money makes to money. In the past recent days, Mommy has made uh, up to seven songs. connected to any of our live broadcasts, you are connected to miracles, you are connected to testimonies, you are connected to lifting, you are connected to settlements, you are connected to transformation. This song, uh, this uh, particular song as well, is one of those last seven 
if you followed mommy recently you notice she even made live videos uh, in the studio while she was recording Can you see the joy? Can you see the joy? This boss with solution. Can you see the joy that is emitted in the course of this movement of solution to the needy? Can you see the heart? Can you see God involved in this process? Can you see both the lamp? And the oil involved. Do you know that even if it's a penny that leaves mommy's hand in this mood of being appreciated to God, uh, for being considered or for uh, having uh, for, for, for the consideration of a person as the instrument to be used, or as the instrument used in this generation. And this is just why mommy is dancing. Mommy is dancing because she is appreciating God for allowing her or making her the instrument of the time you know, to be the one to be used to touch life and change the stories of people in this generation. And then, you can imagine, even if it's a baby that lifts her hand into your hand, I can assure you that that money will multiply. I can assure you that that money will multiply so, 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 so much. Whatever needs a hand right now into anybody's hand can change the person's life. People can become more moved in this process. I tell you, this is not about just uh, uh, extending hands of benevolence to the needy. This is about making people. This is about making people. The money that enter into some of their hands, they go to put in their business, they go to uh, join those money or add those money to their business funds. And, uh, you know, when such money are added to business, what happens is that business is closer to this will happen. Some of these women here are food vendors who just come to take money from money to add to their business money and breakthroughs begin to happen. If I show you some of their faces, you will know that uh, they are not as uh, a lot of others who are here, you know. Maybe I can just take the camera place so that you have a look at some of them, you know, who are, who should be contented, but then they see this medium as a medium of empowerment, they see this medium as a medium to strengthen their business. They see this medium as a medium uh, to, you know, bring lifting to the works of their hands. You know, like this woman, I can tell you that she's just trying to bring decoration and empowerment to her business. A lot of working class people also do come around to the top of This is not just about extending the hand of benevolence to the needy. It is indeed an atmosphere of, uh, of empowerment. Empowerment. Businesses are empowered right now. Bank accounts are empowered right now. People are empowered right now. A lot of things are happening here.
most of them are here to empower their businesses. As long as the money comes from the hand of mommy, this is empowerment for them. This is business sustenance for them. This is uh, business uh, explosion for them.
the long hair. These are all decent people. But as long as this money is going to come from mommy's hand, I'm going to join into my business. And by faith, my business will pick up and things will move forward. How did you come here? Look, remove your eye from the money. How did you come here? Where is your mommy? Eh? So who brought you? You came with your brother. To do what? How old are you? 12 years. You just left your house to come here. With your brother. Where do you live? Your mommy allowed you and your brother to come here. To do what? 